You think about a championship ring and bring the story of your season and of the franchise to life. It gets you so excited because there are so many stories. Patrick Mahomes or somebody looks at this ring 25 years from now, we, have time to run balls? we can help them bring that story back to life again. From a Super Bowl perspective, this is Jocelyn's 37th Super Bowl ring. And each year, we have to be better. We know that the team that wins wants a better ring than the rings the year before. So this year obviously brought so much unique concepts into it because of the pandemic. It's been a crazy six months, but the process was great because the hunts, their goal to us every time was we've got to create a ring that's spectacular for these players who work so hard. That back and forth and ideas and concepts and it was, was nothing short of spectacular. This is the first ring of its type that I've been involved in designing. There's a lot of things on this ring that symbolize milestones in the franchise's history. But uh, you know, we have designed what we think is the, the best, the most beautiful, among the biggest Super Bowl rings in the National Football League. So the ring weighs approximately 100 grams of gold, uh, both yellow and white gold. It has over 255 uh, genuine diamonds. And then there are 32 custom cut red Burmese rubies uh, in there. One of the special things about last season is it was the 100th year of the National Football League, the 60th year of the Kansas City Chiefs franchise and then 50 years since we had won the Super Bowl. On top of the ring sets two Lombardi trophies, signifying the two uh, Super Bowl victories, Super Bowl IV and Super Bowl 54. And on top of it is the Kansas City Chiefs logo. And in that logo sits 60 white diamonds to represent the 60 seasons of the franchise. Around it, there are 50 diamonds in the football shape to represent the 50 years in between the two Super Bowl victories. It was something we talked about throughout the year and really felt that in a lot of ways we were a team of destiny uh, because of those numbers. And then you kind of get to the shanks of the ring. Uh, and a one shank, it's about the player, right? So Patrick Mahomes, uh, his number 15 is adorned with diamonds, of course. And then the phrase, be great. Underneath it is a silhouette image of the stadium with 142.2, obviously signifying the loudest stadium in the National Football League. Can you hear us now? And then on the opposite side, you have Chiefs Kingdom, paying homage to your fan base, which was spectacular. And then the score of the Super Bowl, along with the Super Bowl 54 logo. On the very bottom base of the ring is the Lamar Hunt football, paying homage to, obviously, the, the founder of the Chiefs. For Kansas City and for Hank Stram. On the inside of the ring are all of the scores of the games that they won and the deficits. 24 nothing. I run here. And then on the player rings, there's one small little element on the bottom band on the inside. Every single player has his signature on the ring also. So it's a, it's a unique ring. There's nothing like it, but we think we landed in a place that the players, when they open that box on Tuesday, you know, our goal is for them to say, wow, this is something I'll never forget. Cool. Yeah, so this is uh, a part of our basement that is kind of like the Kansas City wall. I, this is obviously I want to put my dad. I think tonight is kind of one of those times that we've been looking forward for months. You know, February 2nd was just one of those days from start to finish that was kind of surreal. Um, and then here's my, here's the, the captain's wall. This is kind of the main ones for the last, you know, few years since, uh, you know, Andy Reid and the gang, which is pretty cool. It's fun. It's a Super Bowl. 
Usually he photo bombs. He's like usually like right here. I remember our first team meeting, uh, matter of fact, and you know, Dick Vermeil brings out this card which has a Lombardi trophy on it and says, the main thing will always be the main thing. And so he goes, I want you to put these in your wallets and we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Before you leave, you know, you, we're gonna win a championship here. Uh, this is uh, kind of, I would say my most memorable football is that opportunity to play um, you know, longer than one of my heroes, Will Shields in a Chiefs uniform. You know, something that we talked about uh, year after year and really that, you know, guys this past year really stepped up and said like, this is real, like we're really gonna do this. And it, it felt real from the very beginning, every game and certainly in the playoff games. So this is a, this is a flip coin, you know, from the game. They made 54 of them. Congratulations and welcome to Super Bowl 54, the championship game. And then it's a really cool box that kind of opens up, and it's a really sweet thing. Oh yeah, shoot, I forgot. This is the this is the Super Bowl helmet. Some people that have been waiting that waiting for this for 50 years. So 15 wasn't really all that long, and you know, getting to see my wife and kids after the game was probably the most special part of it because I know they're, they've been you know emotionally, uh, <laughs> mentally, physically invested in this for really as long as I have as well. Yeah. You ready, Mama? We're ready. I think that when they went to design the ring, they wanted everybody to look at that ring and say, like, man, they really thought this through. They didn't leave anything out. And that's what I looked at when I saw the ring. I don't think Ty and Travis and uh, Pat, we didn't have any input because we were like, this is per. I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it like that. We're good with that. So I think it's going to be cool tonight to kind of finally get that ring after a, a longer like, wait than normal. I'll wake you up. I'll wake you up to show you the ring. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Love you, dude. Some of the greatest players and greatest coaches in this league never got the chance to have this night. But it begins as a dream, does it not? Then it becomes a mission. Try to somehow get it to the National Football League as a coach, player. Once you make it, then it becomes a quest. A quest to get to a night like tonight. In the end, history showed that we had time to run Wasp. And for the first time in 50 years, the Chiefs raised the Lombardi Trophy. Every member of our Chiefs family who wears this ring played a part in doing something special. And I hope that it serves as a reminder of the bond we all share as world champions. All right, you want me to open it, okay? <laughs> I would open this so bad. I the 15 year National Football League veteran, punter yeah. Dustin Colquitt. Congrats. Yeah. You're in the family. This is awesome. I think as I watched the team grow last year, the team this became a family. Gave us our first ever AFC championship victory in this stadium. And when you get a group of talented people who have that feeling, who want to work hard for each other, you've got a chance to accomplish something special, and that's exactly what the 2019 Chiefs did. The best quarterback in the National Football League, Patrick Well, I think we all have very high expectations. Last year when I spoke to the team, uh, we had the disappointment of having lost the AFC Championship game at the end of the 2018 season. And I think that was really a motivating factor. And it also told us that we had a championship squad, one that was ready to take the next step. That's what the team did in 2019. Now the challenge this year is to run it back.